Recently, RTX Mega Geometry introduced some clever technical wizardry to handle all the detail in real time inside the Unreal Engine. It groups millions of tiny triangles into clusters that can be moved or updated together instead of dealing with every little triangle one by one, which allows you to do far better and faster ray tracing in Unreal Engine. But what the hell is RTX Mega Geometry and how does it work? RTX Mega Geometry is NVIDIA technology designed to increase the geometric detail available in real-time ray tracing. In simple terms, it lets Unreal Engine's ray tracing system to use full quality geometry from the scene instead of a simplified version. You see, normally Unreal Engine has to fall back to lower detail meshes for lighting calculations, which often leads to visual quirks like chunky shadows or missing detail in reflections. As you may know, Nanite is Unreal Engine 5's high-density mesh system, so RTX Mega Geometry fixes those quirks by adding the complete Nanite geometry into the ray tracing acceleration structure. The result is that ray traced effects, including shadows, reflections, and GI, in addition to other things, match the actual scene detail much more closely. So with Mega Geometry turned on, you get crisp and pixel-perfect shadows and finely detailed reflections. For example, Tiny architectural details or foliage will appear correctly in mirrors and glossy surfaces, where before they might have appeared blobby or been omitted. So in a nutshell, it solves the problem of ray tracing having to cut corners on geometry detail, eliminating many of the artifacts that used to plague ray traced lighting in complex scenes. By the way, on a side note, NVIDIA's RTX Mega Geometry is currently available through a special NVIDIA RTX branch of the Unreal Engine, which is a custom version of Unreal Engine 5 that NVIDIA maintains for cutting-edge features. It was unveiled in early 2025 and added to the NVIDIA Unreal Engine 5.6 branch. This means it is not part of the standard Unreal Engine distribution yet. Instead, developers can access it via NVIDIA's GitHub if they want to experiment. NVIDIA labels it as experimental feature for now, not fully production ready. The tag hooks directly into Unreal's rendering pipeline, and in practice, it works alongside Nanite. Nanite already lets games use cinematic quality models by dynamically streaming an LOD in geometry, and RTX Mega Geometry piggybacks on that, ensuring that using ray tracing, you see the same detail Nanite does. If you're using the NVIDIA Unreal Engine 5 branch, you can literally toggle Mega Geometry on and off. NVIDIA even released a demo scene, called the Banzai Diorama, where you can flip it in real time to see the difference. It is also worth noting that Remedy's Alan Wake 2 was the first shipping game to leverage this idea. A post-launch patch added NVIDIA's Mega Geometry support to boost the ray traced mode. So while Mega Geometry is still a custom add-on for Unreal Engine, it is already proven viable in at least one real-world game, which is actually a good thing. RTX Mega Geometry introduced some clever technical wizardry to handle all the detail in one time. One big addition is a new way of building ray tracing acceleration structures. NVIDIA's solution uses clustered blasts, or BLAS, base level acceleration structures, and partition top level structures to group memory more efficiently. In plain English, it groups millions of tiny triangles into clusters that can be moved or updated together instead of dealing with every little triangle one by one. And this significantly speeds up the process by updating the BVH when things in the scene change or when you have adaptive level detail transitions. In fact, Nvidia claims that this approach allows the BVH to include up to 100 times more triangles compared to before without impacting performance. So all those high poly nanite meshes, every stone, leaf, and brick, can be accounted for when rays are traced. The tech essentially streams geometry detail into the ray tracing structure on the fly. I mean, it is like the engine is saying don't worry, I've got all the tiny details ready for ray tracing when you need them. And I will intelligently manage them for you so it stays in real time. This also means the system can handle dynamic geometry better. With clustered updates, 
even if objects are animated or the camera is moving through a huge world. The ray tracer can update with geometry it is ray tracing against in real time, without a huge slowdown, which is a kind of powerful combo of Unreal Engine's Nanite with NVIDIA's technology in real time, doing its ray tracing tricks, giving you as a developer a new tool to do path tracing with previously unthinkable geometry complexity, which is just mind-blowing to think about. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.